Hey there everybody, this is Potter Brown, and welcome to another Bind Reaction of Death Battle. This time we have uh, Black Canary versus Sindel, Sindel, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I'm sure I'll find out in a minute. Now, as you can tell, I'm not in my normal circumstances. I am currently in, as I said before in previous videos, in a hotel in Texas, here for work. Uh, but figured, you know, keep up with some small things anyway. Uh, so I don't have a rush on, like, the one day off I have when I get home. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as always, be sure to support the official release. The link to the original video is in the description below. And let's just get it started. Oh, and I forgot my connector cable to the other headphones, and these are the only ones that I had with me, so... What can you do? Uh, yeah. And start the video in... Three, two, one, and go. RTX is inspiring. Inexperienced. Spectacular. Amazing. I love to see everyone who is so passionate about Rooster Teeth and the community that I grew up with, and to see them all in one place. All right. It's a trope we're all familiar with. The damsel in distress crying for help. Uh, yeah, Wiz, don't think that's the case here, because these two are the opposite. If you ever hear their cry, you're dead. Yeah, Black you're the one that needs help. Bond, bare knuckle brawler of DC Comics. <sighs> and Sindel, the black Sindel. Supreme okay. Queen from Mortal Kombat. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job yeah, to get the weapons, Kombat. armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Behold, the Justice Society of America, the first recorded team of superheroes in the DC Universe. Where else could you find a boxer in a cat suit chilling with the spirit of God's divine wrath? And among these men and yeah. gods stood a woman, the judo-chopping Black Canary. Wait, why a canary? Canaries don't know judo. Or do they? However, this is not well, the Black might. Canary we'll be focusing on today. See, the Black Canary of the Golden Age may have been a skilled crime fighter in her own right, but the one who made the moniker a household name was her daughter, Dinah Laurel Lance. Dinah wanted to be a crime fighter just like her mom, so she trained with Wildcat, the, the furry boxer I mentioned earlier. Her mother wasn't very happy about that, though. Young Dinah's career could have ended then and there, if not for the discovery of what she likes to call her canary cry. Yeah, it's uh, ordinary, painful. But well explained. See, Dinah possessed the meta gene, well, to... a dormant slice of genetic code present in about 12% of humanity's granted superhuman abilities. Yeah, yeah, right it. by the With her new power and martial arts training, Dinah took up her mother's mantle and became Black Canary, the second one. Is it weird that her mom was also named Dinah? They're really forming a dynasty. <laughs> Fun fact, originally she disguised herself by donning a blonde wig, but eventually just dyed it permanently. Blonde? Don't you mean yellow? Uh, yeah, that one was painful. The canary cry is no joke. By emitting focused ultrasonic sound, Dinah can annihilate the eardrums of anyone nearby. Or just ramp up the volume and blow people away with shockwaves. She can even stop a runaway train. It's quite versatile, too. She can focus her cries into small sonic projectiles or broaden them to affect entire cities. And by screaming hard enough well, in the ground, she can freaking fly! How the hell does that shit work? Let's dig into this for a bit. For a sound wave to become a shock wave, it must possess an intensity of at least 194 decibels. For reference, Black Canary's highest recorded scream clocks in at over 300 decibels. That's the same level of bulls as a volcano <coughs> erupting! All that power comes with a fairly obvious weakness, though. If her throat is damaged, she'll be unable to produce the cry. That's why she's got some Not 50 sure. ultrasonic canary bombs to do the super shouting for her. Not to say she's useless without her superpower, of course. She's one of comics' greatest ass kickers. Thanks to Wildcat and her mother, Dinah has trained in jujitsu, karate, Krav Maga, capoeira, and many, many more styles of martial arts. She knows holds that can put you to sleep, a punch that can detonate your heart, and even how to cause instant death by pushing a single nerve cluster. She's basically the furious, blood-soaked love child of Kenshiro and the bride from Kill Bill. Yeah, I was thinking so, the bride from Kill Bill. Before we go on, all this kung fu talk makes me want to see a judo canary. So I'm not sure who's going to win this one. I'm not sure what, uh... Mega Goose Howard. 
Uh, did you teach it, Judo? <laughs> Turns out they don't know judo. Where was the heads up on that one, Wiz? Even with well, all that, Dinah's greatest strength is perhaps her uncanny ability to learn and adapt mid-fight. It's what makes her such a great sparring partner to superhuman martial arts masters like Wonder Woman. It was during a fight with her, in fact, that Black Canary claimed she could perceive time down to the nanosecond. Sounds crazy, right? But believe it, how else could she keep up with someone like Wonder Woman? Or how about the time she battled mm. these red tornado androids? Green Lantern was using his power ring to scan for weaknesses, but Dinah said F that and stabbed it hundreds of times super fast. She found its literal Achilles heel before the power ring finished the scan. Yeah, That's right, she outsped an alien supercomputer. Keep in mind, Dinah does not technically possess superhuman speed or strength. But I wouldn't be surprised if she secretly drank some super soldier serum at some point, because she can outmuzzle superhumans and smash steel like it's flimsy wood. Given the yield strength of steel and the size of her elbow, Dinah must have exerted a force of around 27 tons. The gal Damn. survived a fall into the ocean from a thousand feet, and even her own canary cry reflected back at her. It helps that she has a special membrane in her ears that protects her from shockwaves. Can't say the same for this robot dude, Amazo! For a murder-happy android with the combined powers of the entire Justice League, he sure could have packed some aspirin. She may be stubborn yeah, and not so but with her powers right there. fine-tuned, Dinah proved her mom was the Black Canary to be reckoned with. She even teamed up with groups such as the infamous Birds of Prey, and at one point took charge of the Justice League, the spiritual successor to the original yeah, Justice Birds Society. Of prey. Next to her main man, Green Arrow. They spent a lot of time sticking arrows in that quiver. <laughs> if you know what I mean. go well, apparently. They did sex. Long story short, Black Canary yes, is without doubt one did. of the most badass women in comic book history. The realm right. of Edenia Let's was see what a can do. A Garden of Eden, if you will. You said that like it was supposed to be clever. Under the rule of King Jared and Queen Sindel, the realm prospered for millennia until the arrival of Outworld Conqueror Shao Kahn and the Tournament of Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! By decree of the Elder Gods, an invading force the from the realm must defeat the defending world ten consecutive times in a tournament to the death. Unfortunately for Adenia, Khan dabbed on their asses and won Adenia for himself. To legitimize his rule, Khan murdered Jared, married Sindel, and adopted her daughter Katana as his own. Excessive? Probably. Needless to mm. say, Cindy wasn't too happy about all that. But it turns out she was a kung fu sorcerer. So, to avenge her kingdom, she underwent a mystic ritual where she offed herself to protect Khan's next target, Earthrealm. And it worked! For a time. After 10,000 years of hopelessly failing to take the Earth, Khan learned how to undo her protective war. Sindel was resurrected, brainwashed, and transformed into a fierce queen of dark magic and terror. She was back and ready to slay, and holy shit did she! Sindel's Edenian physiology gives her superhuman strength, speed, and durability, allowing her to make mincemeat of Mortal Kombat's regular combatants. You better have said that with a K. And despite being yeah. dead for the past 10,000 years, she is somehow a master of two forms of Chinese Kung Fu. Zha Quan originates from northern China and is known for its eloquent, graceful, extended movements. Fu Zhao Pai, also known as the Tiger Claw System, focuses on fast, powerful strikes. Sindel also wields a Quan Do. It's a claim designed for long-range deflection and carving people up like a Thanksgiving turkey. Though she hardly needs a weapon when she already has one. Her hair. She can command it to stretch like a tentacle, constrict opponents, and act <laughs> essentially as an extra prehensile limb. Not gonna lie, Wiz, that's, uh, kind of hot. Oh, would you still think so if she used it to spin you like a top fast enough to obliterate your body? What a way to go. <laughs> okay, well, all that pales in comparison he to her likes his woman the, Harry. the Banshee screen. I was wondering when you'd get to this. This you're crying on Banshee screen. Powerful enough to By name alone. Split limbs and rent. A banshee scream. Her screaming power can even be focused in the mystical fireballs of destruction called Star Screamer. Oh, like that Transformer that we had that pony eat his soul. No. Sindel once screamed no, because that was useless. to a large part of a canyon. Oh, this, this resembles Sindel. the effects of a magnitude 5.0 earthquake, comparable to nearly Just awful. tons of TNT exploding all at once. With power like that, it's no wonder she was able to strut through Earthrealm's mightiest heroes. Yeah, I've almost forgotten about that World Combat. The first one wasn't bad, but 
who, along with most of the series' combatants, can shatter a block of pure diamond with his bare hand. A feat like this would require a pressure of at least 60 gigapascals. That's over 4,300 tons of force per square inch. And Kaboom! Who is fast enough to swap machine gun fire out of the air, like the flies in Boomstick's bathroom. Accurate. Judging mm. by the likely muscle velocity and rate of fire, Cabal must have been reacting within six hundredths of a second in order to consistently parry these bullets. And he blocked a bunch of them back to back to back. Too bad Sindel wound up getting blown up and brainwashed all over again. Man, this dick can't catch a break. Though the zombie mill thing's kind of working for her. Well, that's only mm. one possible timeline. In the original story, she was actually freed from Shao Kahn and regained control of Denia. In another, it seems the killing of her royal husband was actually her plan all along. Either way, we're talking about mortal combat. They all die eventually. But compared to the queen, everyone but else... But also survive insane, insane attacks. Uh, I think Sindel's gonna have the edge on this one. I guess we'll see. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, we'll tell you about him. This episode Hymns. of Death Battle is sponsored by Hymns. Hey guys, there's a company out there to help you look your best every day. Oh, the clothing stuff, yeah, yeah. Did you know that 66% of men start to lose their hair by age 35? More I've done hair. research on this myself, and, well, it's true uh. and terrifying. But can help. I don't have to worry about that if genetics have anything to say about that. Grab this new year by the follicles. Here's to a year of personal growth with him's prescription solutions backed by science. It may go white, also based on genetics. Him's yes. says some conversations are easier to have online than off. So with them, you can connect to a real doctor online. And should you be prescribed, it ships right to your front door. Dive into 2020 hair first. Right now, get started with your first month free. Go to more him. Actually, this is still more salt and pepper, so. Prescription requires an online consultation with a physician who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Offer valid only if prescribed. Three month minimum subscription. Additional restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember that of course, he's also 65 years old, so. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Alright. Going the old school style. Talk about Scooby Doo meets Fight Club. You're not from this fox, Earth Roma. Because, of course, she has to walk like that. I shall strip the flesh from your bones. Although, they did say that Black Canary is quick to pick up and just pull strategies out of thin air, even against superhuman characters like somehow. There you go. How are you gonna survive? Oh, didn't pressure throw. Just constrict your hair full for a minute. Oh shit. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Looks like Sindel's head is blasting up again! Or, well, for the first time technically, so. I tried to work it in, guys. This battle was a curious. I don't know why you tried. For the most part, Sindel's physical strength, projectiles, this and his ability to do with ability let her keep up with the bird of prey. 
Yeah, she was 160 times stronger. But Canaries made a living off fighting superhumans who are even stronger than that, like Mammoth and Giganta. So I guess that wasn't that big of an advantage, really. Comparing Cabal's <laughs> bullet timing to her nanosecond reaction, Dinah's reaction speed was easily 60 million times faster. And with her wide array of martial arts abilities, she certainly capitalized on this. Sure, Sindel had some awesome moves, but sadly, stepping on people like a hot dominatrix doesn't quite stack up when Black Canary mastered way more fighting style. Plus, she had been That's training all her life. But Denny was super peaceful before Shao Kahn came along, so I doubt Sindel was taking names and kicking ass all before that. But let's move on to the comparison everyone wants to know. Which was deadlier? Banshee scream right. or the canary cry. I do want we to know that. Dinah's cry could reach 300 decibels. In comparison, the results of Sindel's most powerful scream are similar to a 5.0 earthquake, which is equivalent to only 235 decibels. I know what you're thinking. That's a difference of only 65 decibels. That can't be all that different. Wrong. Well, you'd be it's surprised totally 65. different because decibels are freaking weird. See, decibels are not like meters or minutes, which scale geometrically. Instead, decibels scale logarithmically. For every 10 decibels a sound is, its intensity increases tenfold. So 30 decibels is 10 times greater than 20 decibels, 40 is 10 times greater than 30, and so on. So every increase multiplies the sound instead of just adding to it. Well, damn. <laughs> that means the I didn't know that part. Be About a billion times stronger than the Banshee Scream, nearly 500 megatons of TNT. Awesome. The closest real-life comparison we can make is the Krakatoa eruption of 1883. A volcano blast so powerful it could be heard over 3,000 miles away. Not so different from what Dinah has been shown to be capable of. It also didn't hurt that Canary had those special membranes in her ears to guard against Sindel's scream. In the end, Canary had the speed, skill, and raw decibels to finish her. It was Sindel's time to die, no. What, no pun about screams? Well, I was gonna, but I thought a pun that obvious wouldn't be allowed. The winner is Black Canary. <laughs> Alright, so who do we got next time? Ninja Turtles. Versus Power Rangers. Or Leonardo versus Jason specifically. Okay. That'll be interesting. Used to watch both those shows when I was a kid. But it's been a while. Uh, I haven't really been kept up to date with the more recent incarnations of the characters and shows and whatnot. Although Jason, I think, wouldn't be a newer incarnation. He'd just be it'd be somebody else entirely. Uh, so yeah, that was Black Canary versus Sindel. Did not go the way that I thought it would, but yeah, it makes sense as to how they said that. So, uh, so yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that, but I'm going to end this one here. Until next time, take care.